BeyondVax Pharmaceuticals Limited is a biopharmaceutical company developing a universal influenza vaccine called M001. BeyondVax is a publicly traded company, listed on the NASDAQ. The vaccine technology was invented in the 1990s at the Weizmann Institute of Science in the laboratory of Ruth Arnon, and was licensed to BeyondVax in 2003. As of March 2018, the lead compound was in Phase 2, and the company was planning a Phase 3 trial. History The company's approach to developing a universal influenza vaccine was invented at the Weizmann Institute. It was the subject of Tamar Ben Yedidia's PhD research under the supervision of Ruth Arnon. Ron Babakoff approached Weizmann in 2002 looking for opportunities to develop, and in 2003 his startup, BeyondVax, licensed the patents that Yeda, the technology transfer subsidiary of Weizmann, had filed on the vaccine candidate. BeyondVax took space in the Weizmann Science Park in Nes Ziona, Israel. Babakov took the role of CEO, and Ben Yadidia became the CSO. The company's candidate universal flu vaccine, Multimeric 001, M001, is a mixture of nine peptides, each no longer than 22 amino acids, that are epitopes of HA, NP, and M1 proteins of both type A and type B influenza virus. Beyond Vax was listed on the Tel Aviv Stock Exchange in 2007 and started trading on NASDAQ in 2015. Like many early stage biotech companies, its stock fluctuated wildly. BeyondVax's stock price shot up in response to the perceived threat of the 2009 swine flu pandemic. The company was in phase 2 trials by 2011. BeyondVax was developing M001 first as a primer to make standard flu vaccines more effective, and secondarily as a vaccine. In 2017, the company voluntarily delisted from the Tel Aviv Exchange in favor of the NASDAQ. Earlier that year, the Fund of Check Points co founder and chairman Marius Nacht became BeyondVax's largest shareholder. In 2017 it also obtained a €20 million Euros interest-free loan from European Investment Bank, to be paid in three tranches depending on BeyondVax hitting defined milestones, with the last one being approval to start a Phase 3 trial of its lead candidate. The company used the new funds to start building a manufacturing facility in Jerusalem and to do further drug development work. As of March 2018, M001 was still in Phase 2 trials and the company was planning Phase 3 trials. In March 2018, Scott Gottlieb said that approval of a universal flu vaccine was years in the future. Other groups pursuing similar products at that time included Sanofi which had recently acquired Protein Sciences and its candidate, Johnson & Johnson, Vaxitech, Innovio Pharmaceuticals, and several government and academic labs. <laughs> 